This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets trading at around session highs. Right now, you have the S&Ps up 37 points, trading at 29.27. Dow Jones up 352 points, trading 26,388. And the NASDAQ up 121 points, trading 79.78. Gold contract pulling back a bit, negative $12, about at $15.37. We've got oil up 66 cents at $56.43. Notes and bonds, we got a little lower price and higher yield. That's right, a little higher yield today. We got the 10 year, negative 12 ticks, 130.31. The 30 year, negative a full point and two ticks at 165.27. That two year and 10 year occurred, the curve, excuse me, the yield curve still inverted. We'll jump over to those two in a moment. And we got the dollar index up about 200. And 95 ticks at 98,415. We'll start things off this afternoon. We'll jump over and I'll find it. We're going to start over with that yield curve. So here are your rates in terms of yields. The two year sitting at a yield of 1.524%. The 10 year sitting at a yield of 1.513. Anytime you have the two year yielding more than the 10 year, that is when the yield curve is inverted. Usually you have longer rates, longer duration excuse me having a higher yield but the longer duration in this case under the two-year hinting at a recession possibility With that in mind we jump back over to the charts quite an acceleration from early prices the dow sitting at 26,381 right near session highs a far cry from where we were at 3 a.m which was under 26,000. nasdaq 100 much the same sitting at 77.15 Early overnight, we were down there at about 75.70. So talking about 140 NASDAQ 100 points from that price level. S&P 500, 29.26. We were sitting at about 28.80. Coming into that 3 a.m. news announcement that the trade tariff wars may be easing a bit. Crude oil, trading higher for most of the session, currently sitting at 56.47. There's your gold contract pulling back a bit. So we had gold up near highs right around 3 a.m., 15.59. You get the news that the trade concerns may ease. Gold pulls back, catches a bit actually, up until 9 a.m. And from there, we've fallen off a bit. Stay tuned, folks. We have a replay this hour, but then we're going to have our man Dave White coming up live at 2 p.m. Eastern time with the Power Trading Hour and Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. One day left till that Labor Day weekend, but there's a lot of action on that market. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.